Hi, uh, very good evening, everyone. Uh, so we warmly welcome all of you on behalf of IIT Young Professionals Sri Lanka Network. So uh, it's glad to see uh, so many participation representing all the on campuses of IIT Sri Lanka Network. Uh, so mainly uh, we have decided to conduct this uh, program in order to provide an insight for you as engineering undergraduate, how to elevate your career with IIT. So we know uh, most of you are about to get the first step for your industry within upcoming few years. So you can get a picture from this session and you, you will be able to structure your career for your future after the inputs will be taken from this session. So today we are planning to conduct this entire program under two sessions. Uh, right uh, the first session will be uh, so in order to conduct those session we have got uh, two renowned well renowned key resources persons from iit community so the first session is iit member benefits and volunteering this session will be conducted by engineer thilini vasundara she is an iit volunteer engagement board member in uk as well as an IT council member. Apart from that, she is working as a committee member for IT Project Control Technical Network. Then uh, we have the second session. This is uh, regarding IT professional registration, becoming a chartered engineer, and interest, interesting journey. So this session will be conducted by uh, engineer Tatsara Nanayakara. Uh, he has the distinction and honor of being the youngest IIT registered chartered engineer in Sri Lanka. And also he is a registered international professional registration advisor in Institution of Engineering and Technology. Currently, uh, he is serving as the vice chairman of IIT Young Professional Sri Lanka Network. Apart from that, he holds the professional memberships of IECL, IESL and IET UK. So uh, prior to start the session, uh, I have a few requests from all the participation participants. Uh, please make sure to uh, mute yourself uh, until the session is uh, wind up uh, in order to avoid uh, unnecessary disturbances. And uh, if you have got any question regarding any session, we are conducting two sessions. Uh, under any session, if you have any question, you can simply uh, put into the chat box. Uh, don't interrupt the speakers. Meanwhile, sessions are conducted. OK, it's time to uh, begin our first session. The first session is uh, IET member benefits and volunteering. And it will be conducted by engineer Tilini Vasundra. Tilini, over to you. Uh, thank you, Dasuna. Uh, hi, everyone. I will share my screen now. Uh, can you see my screen? Now I'm putting it presentation mode. Yeah, we can see your screen. Okay, thank you. Uh, very good evening to all of you. Uh, so I'm Tilini Vasundara. Uh, I will talk about uh, more about IET and uh, membership benefits. Okay, uh, this is uh, my uh, presentation content. So I will talk about what is IET, IET communities uh, and communities in Sri Lanka membership benefits and volunteering opportunities and uh, different membership categories available in IIT and also especially how to join with the IIT. Okay, let's uh, start with, uh, this conversation with a real life story. Uh, how many of you can uh, find a little Tilini in this picture? Yeah, it may be uh, difficult for you because uh, it took uh, 15 years, uh, sorry, nine years ago in uh, 2015. Here she is. Uh, she's in a, uh, she was in a uh, kind of a introductory uh, session, uh, like you guys, uh, listening to what is IIT. In that time, to be honest, I didn't have any idea about what is IIT and what they do. Fortunately, uh, thanks to those organizers, I got a clear idea about what is this IIT and what they do. So that's the beginning of my IIT uh, journey. 
uh, that day on earth, I uh, en uh, enrolled uh, for the, our IET on campus, uh, University of Mauritius as a volunteer. Uh, then uh, I played different role. Now, uh, today I'm a council member. Okay, let's see what is this IET and what is the meaning of these uh, three letters. Uh, yeah, I know you all of uh, know about what is IET. IET, that the Institution of Engineering and Technology. Uh, beyond these three, uh, those three letters, uh, they represent not only the organization, but also the uh, core values uh, belongs to IET. That is integrity, excellence, teamwork, and uh, teamwork. So IET is a, a professional uh, engineering body uh, based on uh, UK. Uh, it uh, has uh, history uh, back to 1871, and also it uh, regulated by Royal Charter. Okay, uh, in IAT, mainly they have uh, five uh, engineering disciplines like uh, communication, uh, transportation, uh, IAT, and uh, manufacturing, and uh, also energy. But uh, IAT is not uh, limited to those uh, five uh, engineering sectors. I will uh, explain uh, it later in uh, my next slide. And IAT currently, uh, they have members uh, all around the world, uh, almost covering 150 countries and uh, paid members around 186,000 members worldwide and also uh, volunteers like you about more than uh, 4,000. Uh, in IET, we have vision and mission. I know it's boring. Uh, so our vision is working to uh, engineer better world. And as IET, we inspire, inform, influence the global engineering community to engineer a better world. I hope you guys can hear me. If you can't hear me at any time, please uh, let me know. I'm going forward. So uh, as I mentioned you earlier, uh, IET not uh, just uh, is, um, strict to those five uh, engineering sectors. Uh, they also represent these uh, these uh, different engineering and technology sectors like communication, power, biotechnology, defense, construction, management, IET, and almost uh, engineering and uh, technology sectors. So, uh, if you are not doing any sort of, uh, I mean, engineering. Uh, degree or uh, sort of thing, uh, no need to bother. You also uh, belong to these uh, uh, different uh, technology sectors. Uh, let's uh, watch a short video. Uh, it's also about IT. Throughout our lives, throughout our planet, engineering has changed the world we live in. It influences the quality of our lives, the way we interact with each other, our environment, and even how long we live. Engineering is the melting pot of innovation, where science, technology, and design come together. Whether you think about the invention of the wheel or the first use of fire to change the property of materials, Engineering has always been at the heart of mankind's development. From energy, transport, design and production, built environment, to IT and communications. Formed in 1871 and incorporated by Royal Charter in 1921, the IET is a world-leading professional organisation sharing and advancing knowledge to promote science, engineering and technology across the world. It is the professional home for life for engineers and technicians and a trusted source of essential engineering intelligence. For now and the future, the IET looks to guide and nurture an engineering community that will shape our world to come, setting standards in professionalism that benchmark the varied industry sectors that we represent. The IET has more than 150,000 members in 127 countries. To support its worldwide membership, it has offices in Europe, North America, Asia Pacific and South Asia. The IET accredits over a thousand undergraduate and postgraduate courses around the world and works hard to promote careers in science and engineering. 
To achieve this, we tirelessly work to inspire the next generation with fresh and exciting educational programs and celebrate individual excellence and innovation through our awards and scholarships. We see the impact of our influence start at a young age, with children in our schools learning the importance of STEM subjects and opening their eyes to the potential of an engineering career. Whether their next formative steps are through apprenticeships or higher education, the IET has development programmes to help them meet their greatest potential. We work alongside academia and industry to ensure course and scheme content is relevant to the modern day and reflects the standards required to engineer the future. Through the journey from early career and onwards, the IET provides the structure for initial and continuous professional development with access to rich sources of knowledge and an active community of experienced engineers providing guidance and mentoring. Networking and knowledge advancement is further supported by essential engineering intelligence in the form of physical and virtual libraries, books and journals, conferences, training and seminars on wide-reaching topics representing the breadth and depth of the IET's commitment to the world of engineering. Our members are role models for the next generation of scientists, engineers and technicians. Using the IET as their professional home for life, later stage career engineers look forward to opportunities to influence and give back to the community that has served them so well. As a engineers to drive thought leadership by joining with us to guide governments to engineer solutions for the problems our world faces. The IET supports engineers helping society meet the needs of the 21st century, discovering the innovative solutions that will change our lives. Okay, so that's about IED. So IED provide professional membership. So why do we need to have a, such kind of professional membership? Do you have any idea? Any volunteers to share the ideas? Okay, unfortunately, I can't see the chat box. Okay, um, I will move forward. So, uh, these are few reasons uh, why we need to consider about having a, a professional membership. Uh, one is uh, getting involved because uh, when you are in the industry, you can't just be uh, alone. You have to be connected with uh, other um, industry and uh, what's going on in the world and you have to be up to date. So you have to get actively get involved. So uh, when you have a professional membership, uh, they will provide you uh, this the support you need to uh, get involved with the industry and the uh, environment. So uh, with that, you will get the uh, advantage to uh, develop your profession and also shaping your profession. And also most of the uh, institutes nowadays providing mentorships. So that will help you to uh, whenever you need help to uh, I mean, uh, sometimes to uh, find internship or uh, career opportunities, sometimes um, it can be a personal uh, thing. So uh, may maybe you need uh, help. So in that, in that case, you can ask for a, a mentorship. And also most importantly, networking. I will talk about this in uh, my uh, later uh, slides. Uh, with the professional membership, you will uh, get a chance to expose to a uh, huge networking opportunities. And uh, knowledge resources, uh, most of the uh, professional organizations uh, nowadays provide uh, free knowledge resources uh, like um, uh, articles and uh, uh, digital libraries, uh, uh, so many things. If you are in academia, uh, it is really uh, helpful, even though you are in the industry, uh, it's better to have uh, such kind of knowledge resources available at any time. And also, uh, if you have a professional membership, you always can gain the uh, membership benefits. Most importantly, that will add uh, color to your CV. Okay, 
let's talk about how the IIT is structured in Sri Lanka. So, as I told you earlier, uh, IIT headquarters are uh, uh, located in uh, UK and also uh, it is spread in five uh, regions. We are belong to South Asia region. Uh, under South Asia region, we have nine uh, local networks and uh, I, uh, local networks are located in India and uh, we are the uh, only one outside the India. So we are under Sri Lanka network. Under Sri Lanka network, we have young professional network and uh, with young professional network, uh, currently we have uh, nine uh, on campuses. So this is our structure. Uh, apart from the uh, governance from uh, IIT uh, Sri Lanka network, uh, we also, uh, our young professional network also monitored by the young professional committee in UK. So uh, as uh, on-campus members, uh, as on-campus committees, uh, what they do, uh, you guys almost know, uh, I will just uh, go through that them, what uh, as on campuses, uh, what you guys can do and what you guys can go in. So they organize uh, lectures, guest lectures, workshops, uh, whenever you need uh, some kind of additional um, uh, knowledge, you can ask for your committee, then uh, they will definitely organize those uh, guest lectures and workshops and field visits and uh, STEM promoting session. Uh, you know, uh, in Sri Lanka, some areas, uh, they don't have enough uh, resources to um, uh, give knowledge to students on uh, science, mathematics. So in that case, um, each and every university uh, try their best to organize uh, STEM promoting sessions in uh, those uh, uh, schools in rural areas. And also earlier we had a present around the world. Uh, world. Uh, this is a presentation competition uh, that help you to uh, gain, uh, improve your presentation skills and uh, present your projects. Uh, and also apart from that, uh, our on campuses organize hackathons, awareness sessions and uh, technical talks. Let's talk about what uh, YP do uh, as a young professional network in Sri Lanka. Uh, they organize inter-university hackathons and young professional technical uh, conference. And this is a really good uh, platform to present your uh, papers and uh, uh, you will get chance to uh, present your, if you win the uh, conference, then you will get a uh, chance to present your presentation in uh, annual technical conference in Sri Lanka, uh, then beyond that. Uh, and also as the young professional, uh, they organize technical uh, talks uh, called e-talks and field visit uh, leadership development programs and especially Young Woman Engineer of the Year Award and also on campus uh, month. And also uh, they recognize uh, on uh, campus volunteers and uh, they will uh, give um, certification on uh, their contributions. Okay, uh, why do we need to consider about volunteering? and what you can gain from volunteering and why uh, especially you need to consider IT for volunteering. Okay, let's talk about it now. Uh, so first thing, uh, first thing and most important thing I recognize as networking. If you need a job, please connect. If you need, uh, if you have a job, still keep connecting. If you are hiring, keep connecting. If you need a mentor, keep connecting. This connection uh, definitely uh, make your life easier. Uh, and also, uh, one uh, for the moment, maybe you don't understand how valuable it is, but later in your career, you will definitely understand that uh, how much important to uh, connect with uh, different people and have a good uh, and strong uh, network in your uh, in yourself. So. Uh, I strongly believe that a network can in increase the people that you meet and also improve your uh, quality of life. For me, uh, network is uh, my net worth. Uh, these are the people, some uh, photos uh, I added to show you uh, how many people I met uh, through IET journey so far. Uh, likewise, uh, I... I exposed to different cultures. I met different people from different countries, uh, different areas in the world. So uh, likewise, you also can uh, gain uh, such experience uh, with uh, IET when you are uh, connecting with uh, different, uh, I mean, uh, after you're on campus, then uh, Young Professional Network, Sri Lanka Network, likewise, you can create more uh, connection and uh, build your own strong network.
apart from networking i uh, i recognize uh, with uh, volunteering uh, you can improve your uh, leadership skill communication skill interpersonal skills and it also uh, helps you to improve your self confidence i will tell you a story actually uh, i added uh, these pictures uh, to tell you that story because uh, i'm a kind of a shy person uh, when i uh, entered into the university i i was not uh, confident enough to talk in front of people but uh, when i uh, joined with iit and uh, then i uh, appointed as the vice chairman of uh, iit on campus university of moratua and then chairman uh, likewise i got uh, so many uh, opportunities to speak uh, in front of different audience so uh, with uh, those uh, opportunities and experiences uh, it uh, improved my self confidence to uh, communicate a better way and also uh, it improved my interpersonal skills and also uh, with uh, different volunteering activity activities i got uh, different uh, chances to take responsibilities and also because of those responsibilities um, in myself i uh, i got opportunities to uh, improve management skills as well so uh, as personally i believe that i i go, i gain those uh, experiences and i improve those skills uh, so i believe that if you are get involved with volunteering activity activities uh, you can definitely improve uh, those skills in uh, your personal life uh, apart and also uh, with volunteering you can always kind uh, find mentors and also internships and career opportunities most importantly uh, when you apply for the jobs you need referees so when you when you have a good uh, connection and when you have when you have a, a strong uh, network uh, you can ask for a good referees so and also mm, when you are uh, volunteering you can always uh, have a fun okay let's move forward so those are some kind of uh, personal things you can uh, gain from uh, volunteering uh, when you uh, volunteer with iit iit always uh, give uh, try their best to uh, give recognition to uh, their volunteers so iit have um, iit has uh, their own two uh, medals and awards uh, one is iit achievement awards and also uh, they have iit <laughs> core value awards um, for uh, those three uh, core values like integrity excellence and teamwork so in uh, 2021 uh, young prof uh, our iit sri lanka young professional network we won core value uh, award uh, for teamwork category and also uh, in 2021 i also won uh, foul treacher award uh, under the uh, early career uh, category uh, for my volunteering contribution to the iit likewise you also can uh, apply for those medals and get recognition uh, to your contribution actually i i should uh, mention something about these medals uh, when you uh, get uh, such kind of recognition um, it will definitely change your life so uh, believe in that so uh, always try to apply for those awards uh here is a local network um, uh, lo what are the local networks available in uh, with iit so with uh, those local networks uh, you will uh, get opportunities to connect with uh, like minded people and share their ideas and also um, uh, uh, collaborate with uh, different events and learn and especially uh, grow as a person and also uh, apart from these local networks uh, iit has different communities uh, specialized with uh, different technical areas so uh, if you are a kind of a person uh, uh, do, uh, driven with uh, uh, different uh, uh, technical interest you can definitely join with those uh, technical networks and uh, gain more more, more knowledge and also uh, you can uh, connect with different people uh, and also uh, iit provide professional registration so tatsar uh, engineer tatsar uh, in the next session uh, he will uh, talk about this more so i will uh, just leave this slide for you uh, so iit if you have the iit membership you can apply for, uh, for the this uh, professional registration through iit okay uh, let's talk about uh, students as students uh, when you uh, are volunteering uh, in your uh, on campus network uh, what is your next step so after you graduate 
uh, even uh, you are in the final year, you can apply for uh, young professional uh, sections like uh, in Sri Lanka, uh, Sri Lanka Young Professional Network. And also if you are uh, interested uh, to like uh, uh, global uh, professional network, that is YPC, Young Professional Committee. Uh, and also uh, always you can uh, apply for Young Professional Ambassadors, YPA. Uh, and also there are different uh, boards and committees. Uh, likewise, uh, there are uh, different opportunities are there to apply. Uh, I will talk about more about those board and committees uh, later and also early career uh, membership. Uh, and uh, okay, let's move forward. Uh, here's the uh, volunteer role map. Uh, so with that, you can uh, get an idea how many uh, opportunities are available with IET. So uh, this is uh, this uh, green color circle. Uh, the outer one is the easiest one to enter into the uh, volunteering journey. Uh, so you can see uh, if you are currently volunteer with uh, on campus, you are already belongs to this green circle as an on campus volunteer. Uh, then uh, you can move to uh, local network, young professional ambassador, and so many, so many uh, opportunities are there. Then uh, with the experience and things, you can uh, move into inner circles like this uh, blue color one and the orange color one. So blue color one is more about uh, different uh, uh, panels and committees. Uh, those are uh, specific uh, committees like you can see wiring regulation, uh, professional development committee. Likewise, uh, those are uh, specific committees and also uh, if anytime you can uh, join as a uh, young professional committee uh, if you are below the 35 years old. Uh, moving into the inner circle of orange color one, uh, this is uh, the more, uh, more higher uh, level of uh, volunteering op opportunities are available. Uh, this is the uh, boards. Uh, we have uh, three boards with IET. Uh, yeah, volunteer engagement board, membership professional development board, and knowledge service and solution board. Uh, so, uh, in uh, more inner to the circle, uh, there is a council and uh, top level, it is a board of trustees. So, when I say this, uh, someone can uh, question like, uh, yeah, it is easy to say, yeah, we can see so many opportunities are there, but is it uh, really achievable or not? So, let me tell you a real life story. Uh, this is my story. I started... Uh, like a just on-campus volunteer, as I mentioned earlier in 2015. So I played different roles in on-campus. Then I moved to um, a young professional network, then to a uh, Sri Lanka network. Uh, then I moved to a uh, young professional committee, uh, global committee, uh, and now I am council member. So it's achievable. Just uh, believe uh, in yourself and always try to uh, go beyond your limit and uh, try to explore new opportunities. So it's a, uh, it's uh, sometimes it's take uh, some time, but uh, always uh, try, uh, don't uh, ignore the opportunities. Okay, uh, in summary, uh, I will just uh, give you some insight about uh, especially student focused uh, benefits. Uh, as I mentioned you earlier, you can join uh, uh, knowledge sharing networks uh, like communities and uh, other volunteering uh, opportunities and events and course. So with that, uh, you can grow your professional network now uh, with the IET, with the global community of engineering and technology specialists. And you can connect with different communities and learn, collaborate and build your uh, career. And also you will get uh, chances to uh, make difference to uh, volunteering opportunities, make friends, learn new skills, advance your career. Um, when you, uh, and also uh, another thing, uh, you can get uh, industry info, uh, you exist. And also pro where IET provide that uh, e and magazine. Uh, it is the award-winning magazine. Uh, with that, uh, you can uh, learn uh, things what going on the industry and also uh, you can uh, gain insight on best practices and receive in uh, depth uh, training on everything from ethics and compliance to standards this will enable you to feel confident in your abilities as a best in class uh, engineer 
and also uh, IT provide uh, uh, seminars, IT TV with uh, so many uh, technical sessions. Uh, and also I should especially mention that IT gives opportunities to take uh, part in member lead panels and help uh, deliver impact uh, insight. Uh, and also um, IT provide um, many uh, different uh, things to uh, stay up to date with latest uh, technical contents. Uh, as I mentioned you, IT provide IT books, uh, digital library, journal, events, and IT library and archives. And also with IET, uh, you can advance your career. And because IET provides continual, uh, continuing professional uh, development courses, uh, we call it CPD courses. And IET has the uh, career manager tool that will uh, help you to up to date uh, your CV there. And you can generate your own CV with IET and uh, professional registration and especially mentoring. Mm, okay. Uh, this is now we'll talk about how to join with IED. Uh, I, I mean, you already belong to IED, but uh, if you are interested in getting a paid membership, uh, this is the way. Uh, so uh, this is our website. You can go there and uh, there, here you can see membership and registration link. Uh, with that, you can create your own profile. Uh, so as a student, uh, you have many different opportunities to connect. Uh, there is a student hub. You can, uh, once you are registered with the IET, you, you can uh, join with the uh, student hub. Uh, there is a link in the uh, IET website. And also IET has a student uh, LinkedIn group. You can always uh, join with uh, this IET student uh, LinkedIn group. Okay, um, these are the membership fees. These are actually standard fees for the student 20 uh, per year. And uh, for uh, whole duration of uh, the course, it will be uh, 50 pounds. And normally for the members and associate members, it uh, vary with the, depend on the uh, career uh, stage, uh, it will be around 20 to 170 pounds. I know it's a huge money, but uh, please pay it. I will explain it later. Uh, and also um, when you, uh, uh, when you have the uh, student membership, uh, when, uh, at the final year, uh, you can uh, continue that membership uh, once you are graduate for one uh, another one year as a, uh, like uh, getting the graduate advantage. Uh, so keep, in, uh, keep it uh, in your mind. Uh, so when you uh, get the membership, you can pay uh, the same amount you are paying at the final year for another year once you are graduated. So, okay, I know this uh, 20 pound is a uh, huge money. Uh, do I need to pay 20 pounds a year? Okay, let's talk about this. Uh, because of uh, the current situation in Sri Lanka, uh, IIT UK uh, consider about uh, giving a special uh, offer to Sri Lanka. So earlier for the uh, whole uh, course uh, for the, as a, red a reduced membership uh, fee category, uh, we had to pay uh, 35 pounds uh, per year. But uh, now uh, they are offering uh, less amount. Uh, I think it's around uh, 15 pounds per whole uh, four years. Uh, it's around in LKR uh, 5,600 or something. So this is only for Sri Lankan student. Uh, and also this is for only limited period. And uh, uh, for to get this and actually uh, there is one uh, requirement so all uh, executive committee members in on campus committee should uh, have the paid membership so with that if you have uh, more uh, paid members then others members also can gain this uh, of uh, a special offer so i uh, i encourage uh, students to get uh, the uh, the get this offer because uh, it's a limited offer so uh, if you get get this at this moment, uh, I don't. I'm not sure whether it will be available next year. So, if you are really like to uh, join with IIT, uh, please uh, try this offer. Uh, for more details, you can contact uh, YT, uh, YP section or your on-campus uh, committee. So, I think I'm run out of time. So, I just. Um, uh, I, I hope you got uh, a clear idea about what kind of uh, membership benefits are available and how to uh, actively participate with IIT activities and things. So if not the ID, then what else? So 
with that, uh, I end up my session and hand in over to, uh, to Tatsara for uh, his part. So if you have any questions, uh, please put in the chat box. End of the session, uh, me and engineer Tatsara uh, will answer the all uh, questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, so much, uh, Tilini, for your informative session. I think uh, all of you have got an input from her remarkable IET career, and you have got an understanding about what are the 60 benefits from IET membership. Uh, so, as she said, uh, if you have any any further doubts to be cleared, you can just put into the chat, and we'll have a space at the end of the session to discuss. So now it's the time for the second session, which is IET professional registration, becoming a chartered engineer and interesting journey. Uh, this will be conducted by engineer Tatsara Nayak Nay Nanayakara. Uh, uh, Tatsara, it's over to you. Rasuna, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Good evening, all. Uh... So thank you for this nice introduction and thank you for inviting me for get, as a guest speaker to this session so let's we'll move to do move to our topic uh, can you all see my screen yeah we can see your screen all right so I need to first tell IET Young Professional Network has uh, mainly organized this session. It's a main focus is to get the knowledge to the IET on campus undergraduate plus the recent graduates to get the a brief idea of the importance of getting IET. So I'll uh, explain uh, the briefly, uh, not go much. So the brief I get, I'll get brief idea of the what is IET professional registration. So IET is world recognized institution. I think now more than 168,000 members all around the world. So engineer Tilini uh, has already uh, described the IET and all about the benefits. So now I move to my presentation. So. This is my sequence. Uh, so first, engineering career progression. Then uh, who is chartered engineer and the benefits of becoming a chartered engineer. And the, the Engineering Council UK approved institutions to get a license to award the chartered engineer qualification. Then uh, the professional registration as chartered engineer through the IET. So the, the requirement for the chartered engineer qualification and application rules application requirements, then the assessment process, the interview process, and assessment outcome, and how we get ready. So I uh, I thought that uh, my uh, cursor is, all can see my cursor. Yeah, we can. It's a, it's a so first, uh, what is engineering career progression? So first, we, uh, we have to follow the engineering degree. Uh, engineering or the technological degree, then uh, need to get a membership from any professional bodies. So after that, you can achieve the chartered engineer qualification from locally or the international, or else you can uh, do your postgraduate studies, then you can achieve the chartered engineer qualifications. The final outcome is after, with the experience of the chartered engineer, you can become int pe in p means international professional engineer is uh, recognized uh, in the world as a professional engineer so this is the main career progression of the engineers so before i uh, main uh, describe the chart engineer so i will describe what is engineering and engineer so all we know the engineering is the broad discipline that involves using a various of applications scientific mathematical technological likewise so 
So engineers are the practitioner, practitioners of the engineering. So who is chartered engineer? Uh, the chartered engineer has knowledge, skills, and some experience. He has all the responsibility of the designing and the engineering works. So he involved and given leaderships to be the main uh, given leadership for the all designs and engineering works. So these are the benefits of the chart engineer. So you can use international recognition title and uh, you can get recognition uh, as a professional in your field. Then uh, you can improve a career opportunities as well as salary prospectus in your job. Uh, and it's a great influence within your organization. So, and uh, you can get confirmation that you are a competent engineer. And uh, the opportunity is to connecting you with innovative and the influential people. So first I, uh, I describe the, uh, the, the path through the IET. So I need to describe what is the Engineering Council UK. So though we apply chart engineer qualification through the IET, so ultimately the qualification will be awarded by the Engineering Council. So not only chart engineer qualification, so incorporate engineer, engineering technician, as well as uh, the ICT technician, all the recognitions will be awarded by the engineering council. So this is the regulated body in the UK. So these are the engineering council UK approved organized institutions to award these professional recognition titles. There are um, uh, nearly 31 institution, international approved institution, so the IET is the topmost and reputed institution among those. So now next we move forward to the, the professional registration as chart engineer through the IET. So this is the um, main summary. So, right. Right. so this is the main pro progress, uh, the process of the professional registration. I will explain each and every one in uh, upcoming slides. So first we need to join IIT. So as an undergraduate, you can first jo join as a student member. Then uh, after graduation, you will automatically uh, change to, to the associate member. After you can uh, join into the industry, you can get the IIT corporate membership called MIET the memberships. So with the corporate membership only you can enter to this path. So first you need to member of IET, we call it corporate membership. Then you need to develop your competencies. So competencies, I will briefly upcoming slide. The next step is to need to map your competencies again, the UK specification. So this one also I will uh, brief in upcoming slides. So need to write your application. This is some kind of a report. So, so I'm giving advice to the all the undergraduates and just pass out graduates. So, so from, uh, from the beginning your industry journey, so need, uh, you need to uh, keep your diary. So need to write down each and every important points. Once you are going to apply these started engineer qualifications, you will not remember the old things. So this I am recommend you to uh, write down all the steps that the your your involvement in engineering main things you have to write down as a small diary. So this finally, if you are good success succeed in your application, then they will call for the interview. Then finally, you can get the chart engineer qualification. So these are the requirements for the uh, chart engineering. So chart engineer, become a chart engineer. So need education requirement. I will explain one by one in upcoming slides. So need the memberships. So uh, next, uh, the experience and the, the competencies. What are the competencies? 
So these are the uh, the assessment pro uh, the, the assessment pro. Uh, before I explain the what are the education requirement for the so get so apply chart engineer qualification. So these are the assessment process of the IET. So mainly in the Engineering Council UK. So there are two types of assessments. So these are the record recognized qualifications and the individual assessment. So this is for those who have accredited recognized qualification as per the Engineering Council UK. So these for those who don't have accredited recognized qualification as per the Engineering Council UK. So don't worry if you are, though you have recognized qualification as well as those you don't have the recognized qualification, you can apply the professional registration. So I will explain these two in, in uh, next slides. Right. Uh, so before I uh, uh, going to explain these uh, education requirements, so first we need to the main difference between IEng and CEng. This IEng means incorporate engineer then chartered engineer. So when you are writing application, need to you need to show a difference between these two. So when you are going to apply chartered engineer, so you need to uh, write these, uh, need to uh, explain the difference, main difference between these two. So mainly the incorporate engineer is a just pass out graduate, but no more experience, but uh, he's not doing any responsibility engineering uh, job, like an engineering officer. So chartered engineer is having some experience and he, he has some responsibility in their field. So these are the education requirement for the recognized qualifications. For these category, I will ex now explain it. So these are the education requirement recognized qualifications. For the chartered engineers, need to accredited bachelor's degree with honors engineering or technology plus the master's degree. Another, the same one, you need to one of following. So for if you need to apply as in this route, this route, you cannot, you cannot select the route. The IET will decide what the, the route for you. Like if you are, uh, if you need to uh, apply these uh, recognized qualification route, you need to minimum this qualification, need a bachelor's degree, engineering technology plus master's degree. So if you are, you don't have a master's degree, then definitely you have to go to this individual assessment route, right? This uh, for the uh, incorporate engineer, you need to only the bachelor of uh, degree in engineering or technology only, right? So, so when we uh, so, what is this accredited degree? So in an engineering council in the UK, there are uh, uh, there are mainly uh, there are some accords. As then there are mainly a look, uh, there are uh, there are two types of accreditations. So in engineering council and the Washington Accord. So normally uh, in the engineering council UK, they are uh, checking the their qualification recognized engineering council or else Washington Accord. Uh, so you can go to the uh, engineering council website and go to the uh, recognized course search and you can write your university name or your degree then search you can search your degree is accredited or not through the engineering council uh, other than if you are uh, if your degree is accredited by the washington court it's enough for ap uh, apply the through the recognized qualification route uh, i'm not going to explain about the washington court in here so these are the membership categories. So student member, associate member, then member. So these are the memberships. So these are the, not the memberships. These are the professional recognitions given by the Engineering Council UK through the IET. So minimum you need to be a member, corporate member to apply ING or SAGE. So in, when you are uh, in the, doing uh, the diploma of engineering or the technician, uh, the engineering courses, so 
also you can get a student membership then you can get associate membership as well so then after that you can get only the uh, the tmi technician membership then you can apply the professional registration as an engineering technician or the ict technician so these are the uh, the competencies so uh, this be uh, this uh, guidance so you can get download from engineering council uk website so this call uk stand for professional engineering Com uh, competence and commitment we, are, we call as uk spec this is the fourth edition published in 2020 so you this is an uh bread and bread and uh is a very important in the professional registration journey you need to read um, very well uh, and uh, you need to go uh, go through is to uh, to before write your application so these are the competencies of the uk spec fourth edition so mainly the competency a you need so you need to write the application uh, report uh, so you as a story so when you are writing a story you need to show these competencies you you are having and you need to show these all competencies become a chart engineer. So these are the competencies, competency A, knowledge and understanding, competency B, you need to show your design skills, development and solving engineering problems. Then competency C, you need to show your responsibility and management and your leadership. These three are very much important. A, B, C, and the D and E, and communication and interpersonal skills, as well as the personal and professional commitment. So there are the main five competencies. Under this, there are 17 sub-competencies. So I will not go in each and every one separately because this is mainly focused for the graduate, uh, undergraduate and test pass out graduates. So I will uh, go uh, briefly about what are the sub-competencies. So in competency A, there are two sub-competencies, A1 and A2. So in the uh, competency B in design development and engineering problems, there are mainly three sub competencies. B, we call as B1, B2, B3. So in the competency C, responsible, responsibility, management, and leadership, there are four sub competencies. In competency D, there are three sub competencies. Finally, in the competency E, there are five sub competencies. So you need to submit a report. And you need know, to show you all you you are having all these seventeen sub competencies. So these are the evaluation progress. So I'm recommend you these are the they are recommend they are evaluation progress. So I recommend you to you need to above the practitioner level. You need to have expert level in your application in these competencies. So. This is the application route. So for this application route, there are the some registration advices we call as the IPRA, International Professional Registration Advices. In Sri Lanka, there are nine to ten international registration advices. There are so many senior advices you can get help from the from them. So if you can, you need to consult. So this is the not compulsory. So I recommend you to uh, consult IPRA uh, during this process. So if I go to, if you go to the IT UK website and you can uh, select other and you can select the country and uh, select the category as start engineer, then uh, search, you can get the uh, professional registration advisors registered in the, in the your local network. So the, uh, if you are need to get consultant from, uh, get the advice from me, uh, you can uh, select me as uh, now I am these days I'm registration register as a, uh, Asia, rest of the region as a local network. So through this web, uh, website, you can uh, uh, get that, uh, send a request from, from any advisor and get the help from them. So these are the evidence you need during this process. So this uh, evidence, you no need to submit to the IET UK. But if during this your application process, sometimes uh, they will ask some evidence. So uh, not 
not for all from some of uh, in uh, some of them uh, some of during the process uh, some of the competencies might be request from you but the ipra will request most of the uh, evidence from you so i'll recommend you to collect these all the documents due, uh, during this your industrial journey as well as your uh, industrial training as well so uh, the project examples the project plans the evidence log events designs diagrams proposals reports some minutes the minutes of the meetings the presentation maps so likewise you need to collect all these things with you once you before app, uh, write a report so these are the application uh, path there are mainly two path online application or else the paper application so i recommend you to go to the online application so it is you can first you can uh, uh, register uh, logging to your iet account then you can go the i care manager then you can select the professional registration and fellowship category then under this you can uh, you can continue your application online application so these are the uh, application requirements you need to fill the basic details and the academic and vocal uh, qualifications so this is an important one so need to employment history you need to write a story your story uh, 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 and same time you need to show your competencies and you need to show your trainings uh, the cpd activities as well as it's better to uh, submit your professional papers that you are presented so or else your publication research publications uh, journal publication conference publications or else uh, these supporting documents you need to submit the verify certificates and transcript and the accountability diagram as well as a development action plan these two will describe next slides so accountability diagram this is some kind of a flow chart so you need to a draw a some flow chart and need to mention your post uh, your uh, appointment in this uh, diagram and need, as well as need to uh, mention your above uh, above and the below the both uh, the engineers and the and as well as you need to mention the and uh, the persons under command you so there are two or three levels of uh, above below of your post and the uh, indicate with the arrow you need to indicate the arrow so these are the uh, these are called the accountability diagram you need to mark your the, uh, the current position as well as your previous position in the uh, same diagram or else uh, if you are change change the job you can uh, use two different accountability diagrams so development action plan is the some kind of a plan or else chart you can uh, submit to the it uk so you have to write a short term goals and your long term goals so you can brief your goals in the future so these are the final stage of application you need to mandatory you need initially the ipra will certify your uh, application then need to uh, uh, need to recommend your application your immediate boss so he he or she no need to be a member of iet or uh, uh, only requirement is uh, having uh, only the one membership of any institution in locally or internationally so uh, i recommend you to get a second mem uh, supporter Uh, those who having mem uh, uh, those who have uh, chartered engineer in uh, engineering council uk not uh, not only the iit you can select any of uh, 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 uk engineering council uk accredited uh, institution uh, as a second support so and third and second uh, the third and uh, uh, you can get supporters up to five no need uh, to uh, this optional for the up to after the second so i will already describe this uh, these are i will describe what is this difference so once you have uh, recognized qualification so you can 
uh i initially they are checking after submitting your application initially they are they are checking your application they are checking your application they are not the engineers they are on the staff initial step they are they will check your applications if for any problem they will ask uh, some uh, request from you so they will uh, select what is the suitable category for you or else you are recognized qualification as well as the individual assessments. So if you are uh, having a pregnant qualification, they will forward your application to the expert panel. So these panels are well uh, expert in your fields in IET UK. Uh, so after if you go get through these uh, assess, uh, if you go uh, got past the uh, your report, so report is the very much important other than the interview. So if you get go through these uh, report, then you will call to the professional registration interview. Then you will uh, finally the post PR and then uh, if you got through the interview also, you can get the engineer qualification. So this is, uh, I'll uh, give a brief idea of what is the interview. If you got past the uh, uh, your application, then need to uh, do a 50 minute presentation and they will ask for five to 60 minute uh, questions from you. So only the, no, uh, from the only the application, they will ask questions. I will show us uh, some uh, video clips about the IET uh, interview. Format of the interview will be a 15 minute presentation by you. Then we will have a discussion for up to 45 minutes. The purpose of this interview is for you to give us all the information you want to support your application. We don't want you to go away feeling that you've missed anything out. The interviewers will listen and give you the opportunity to demonstrate your breadth and depth of professional engineering and technology experiences. At the end of the interview, you will be asked if there is anything more that should be added. We want you to go away feeling that you have given the best evidence that you can have. And say journey home. After the interview, professional review interview report form will be completed by the interviewers and a recommendation made to progress your application. Feedback to the registration panel is based on your written application form and the interview report together with your presentation, development action plan, and other relevant documents. The decision will be made on your application for registration, normally within six weeks, and you will be notified of the outcome by letter. So you can request an online interview if you go through your app report. So normally we conduct uh, two assessors from UK. So, so this is the uh, assessment outcomes. So for these are the recognized qualifications. So if you uh, get through your, uh, you have uh, su uh, successful, uh, you are having uh, evidence to uh, all competencies, then they will uh, call the interview. If interview, if you get past the interview, then you can get a charge in the qualification. So if you are failing first time, so for the, re, re, I will uh, explain these are recognized qualification applicants, applicants, those who don't have the master's degrees. So they will, the first first time, if you are get failed to a competency report, then they will ask these evidence. You need to submit full evidence statements, evidence statement and target predictions. So full evidence statement, like you need to submit each and every sub-competencies separately as a report. So if you go through this, you can get the interview and then go, you can get the charge injury quality. If you uh, fail in this time also, then again, you will lose. And after that, if you are not, they, they understand you are not much competencies, they will give a advice letter. So they will not recommend to the chart engineer. They will recommend you if you having other competencies for the IEN jobs, engineering technicians. So these are the individual assessment route. So those who don't have recognized accredited degree or else don't have the master's degree. 
So first stage, if you are getting uh, succeed in first time your application, so you you will call PRMEs, you will get a professional review interview. So then you can, uh, if you are good through, you can get the challenger qualification. If you are get fail in first time, so same, and as well as they will request uh, the some statement this we call UP and U. So those who are individual assessments. So the 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 if you are get fail this time also, so they will call the technical interview, technical viva. So this is the difference between the individual assessment and the uh, the uh, recognized qualification. So if you are this is a, some kind of a technical interview. You, uh, they are checking your technical ability. If you are get go through these interview, so then you can go to the your professional registration interview. Then finally you can get the challenge the qualification. So this time also you can get fail. Then they will give an advice letter. And uh, if you are need to request, you can need to appeal. So it's a separate path. I will not go further about this. So how we get ready? So first you need to read all the competencies as per the UK specification for the edition. And you need to improve your with your experience. And uh, as well as you need to note down a log events from the beginning. As well as you need to keep engineering design associated documents with you and need to keep technical proposals reviews as well as you need to keep reports minutes of the meetings with you so these are the references that i used to uh, so for the presentation so thank you all for the dasuna enjoy dasuna uh Thank you very much, uh, Engineer Tassara. Uh, that's an amazing informative session about in the about the path for chartered engineer. I think uh, all of the participants got a rough idea, basic idea of uh, about the benefits about the path for a charter as a professional. Uh, now it's the time for the question round, question and answer. So we have already two questions. I uh, uh, we had. Or we have completed two sessions. If you have any question regarding both session, uh, it is the time to put it in the chat box. Uh, both of the speakers are willing to uh, answer for all of your questions. Uh, let's uh, start from the existing question. First one is, uh, under volunteer, what sort of activities to be done? And is there any guideline? I think this is for Terini. Yeah, uh, as volunteers, uh, when you are doing vo uh, volunteering activities in on campus, uh, so there is no specific guideline, but uh, uh, most importantly, those uh, activities uh, you are organizing should be beneficial to the students and uh, it should align with the promoting STEM, science, technology, engineering and mathematics. So. Uh, whenever you are requesting budgets from the YP, uh, those activities are not for like uh, fun activities or something, but uh, it should be uh, something uh, related with uh, STEM and beneficiary to the uh, students. Uh, and I added the uh, volunteer handbook. Uh, it's uh, issued by the IT, uh, so you can refer it as well. Um, and also period to... Uh, organizing uh, any activity or uh, you have to always uh, get the approval from the young professional section yes okay thank you engineer tilni uh, second question uh, iet cng is similar to sri lankan cng i think this is so engineer that's right. so this is uh, iet uh, so normally sri lanka cng offered by the iesl so this is not the similar so, so the main advantage is to, if you uh, get IIT Chartered Engineer, so in the ISL uh, PR guide under the 5.7, you no need to do uh, in ISL B paper as well as the uh, 
uh, a paper as well as you do not need to submit uh, the your online diary to the isl only the no need to su submit only the report as well as the white so this is the one of the benefits of getting iit chart engineer you can directly apply isl direct route as the isl chart engineer so these are similar they are not similar there are uh, iit chart engineer for the internationally uh, so for uh, to uh, work in sri lanka you need to get the sri lankan charter as well okay thank you uh, the next question also same for you do you find any specific time period from mie to cinj no not required you if you are get members mit today so if you have any responsibility in your field in your job you can uh, you can today if you are right you can write a competency report you can today also you can submit it is no any uh, time period right uh, that's all the question we are having so far if you have any questions uh... Please uh, take this moment to put it to the chat uh, because we have to wind up the session. Uh, if there is no more questions, uh, we'll take uh, one to two minutes. Uh, please put into the chat all of your doubts we have need to clarify. Uh, is there any format for the report that has to be submitted? I think this is for the chartered engineer uh, path. I already said. Uh, so, so I recommend you to go to the career manager. So there are all, all the templates are there. So if you are go, if you go, if you can go to the IT career manager, all the formats, online formats, at there, you can uh, submit your report and make a report at there. Thank you. Uh, any more questions? Okay, it's seven fifty-three. Uh, we can wait at about uh, seven fifty-five. Please put all your questions and doubt into the chat. Uh, we'll discuss, and then we have to wind up the session. Uh, if any of you have uh, questions, please, or else uh, you can just unmute the mic and directly ask. Else, you can put into the chat. Right. Uh, uh, I we had got one question. If I have CNG in UK and uh, with not approved uh, deg degree ISL, can I be CNG in Sri Lanka? If you have CNG in UK and with not approved degree, no. So in ISL, you need initially you get a get a associate membership is basic first you need to get an associate membership of isl then if you are get chart engineer qualification do will get all the benefits so isl i think isl associate membership is the basic so if you are don't uh, uh, you you are doing or you did uh, not approved degree in uh, isl so you have to get the qualifying examination or as general qualifying or as a part three examination and then you initially you have to go the associate membership then uh, after that uh, you can go to direct route get the sri lanka chart as well uh, right uh, it seems like uh, that's all the uh, from the question uh, of course if you have any more doubts to do uh, you have to clarify please uh, directly get into the iet yp network or your on campus trip through or your on campus representative we will we will able to give you a proper answer for you all the questions and doubt uh, yeah we got another one i think if you are getting the student membership in the last couple of months of the bachelor's degree will the membership sub subscription be expired immediately once we graduate i think this is for telini 
yeah it's not like that uh, it's one year valid uh, let's say you are getting your uh, membership today so it valid uh, up to uh, next year uh, uh, today is 18 may so it's valid up to 2025 18th may so it's one year valid okay thank you very much for the answer okay uh, let's uh, uh... It has come to the end of the another informative, interesting session from IIT Young Professor Sri Lanka. So we are glad to uh, thank our guest speakers, Engineer Tatsar Nanakara and Engineer Tilima Sundara. Uh, both of them are well-renowned uh, resource person in IIT community. So we are glad to get experience and insights uh, from both of them. So, and one thing to mention, both of them are currently not in Sri Lanka. We are glad to have their time and commitment for this uh, on-campus uh, community and all the participants. Uh, uh, thank you, all of your time and committee in the weekend for committing all your time. Uh, we'll see you uh, in upcoming sessions uh, conducted by IIT and Professor Sri Lanka. Okay, good night everyone uh, thank you see you in the next time thank you for the invitation and having us goodbye thank you Aria. goodbye good night everyone thank you